from the San Diego Polo Grounds in the city of Del Mar. This is the Surf Cup. The Boys Surf Cup. And this match features Seattle United and HSC Bulls from Hawaii. Shift colors for all you sailors out there, past and present. We're underway, 30-minute halves. Seattle United is in the uh, light blue, or baby blue, if you will, with uh, darker blue numbers. And HSC is uh, the Bulls are in black and white. After the throw, and let's get the lineups for both teams. First for HSC, the Hawaii contingent. Nick Shore is the keeper. Koopa Fernandez is number 42 midfielder. Midfielder number 43, Dantonita. 44, Evan Kobashigawa. And he's a defender forward, Elijah Brown. We have our first free kick of the match. And a free kick is for the Bulls. In the box, and this ball is driven out of play. First shot of the match for HSC. Let's go with the rest of the lineup for the Bulls. Elijah Brown is a forward, of number 46. Number 49, Skyler Yoshimoto. He's a defender. Defender number 51, Tim Horn. Forward 52, Jordan Furukawa. Defender number 53, Nick Lamana. Defender number 54, Richard Nino. Forwarder defender 55, Bay Nickerson. Midfielder 56, Joe Takata. Mid 58, Kelio Dutro Raymond. Mid 59, Bryson Kim. Forward 62, Wyatt Kaneshiro. Mid 65, Max Munier. Defender 66, Kobe Saito. Forward 68, Lucas Fernandez. Forward 70, Micah Williams. Shot by Seattle United. They get their first of the match. The manager, team manager is Sandy Shore. Kerry Mickey is the head coach for Hawaii Soccer Club Bulls. Seattle United, their keeper is Felix Komar. Homar, that is. Two is Christian Kuntz. Three is Reese. Wyrick, four is Rowan Calvert, six is Nick Henson, seven, McCoy Hess, nine, Thomas Tolgu, ten, Jacob Allman, eleven, Vicenzio Denorfio, fourteen, Adrian Valentine, fifteen, Edwin Montiel Zumaya, twenty-three, Finn Hoffman, twenty-four, Theo Steinmetz, sixty-one, Aaron Craddock. The head coach is Ralph Black and the team manager is Mike Denorfio. United onto that soccer ball. Setting it forward just outside the box now and a shot there by Thomas Tolgu. And that's the second shot of the match for Seattle United. Here in the fourth minute of the match here at the Surf Cup 2015. Greg GK Porter with you on a mic along with Jim Costa. Great to be back doing a match with Jim Costa, who does not live around here as he used to. He lives up there in Oregon now. So uh, it's great to combine with him and do another youth soccer match for George Langevin Productions, GLP, the throw in, the Bulls. Skyler Yoshimito, or Yoshimoto, I should say. Skyler. Munier try to get a quick touch, and now they have it. Bulls sitting across midfield now. Off to Dwight. Try to work that offense down the left flank. Test that right defense. United, but they have it. Seattle United trying to continue further, but it is a touchdown by Saito, and it'll be a throw in. United. Wyrick, and now in the central defense. 
United wanting to switch it. And up to Central, winning it now. Bulls only momentarily as intercepted. Almond nicely dribbling there in the Central and then gets it off to his teammate. They send that ball in the box for an early ball, but it is going to be too much pace on it. And the save is made. Nick Shore. Up forward, HSC. As they drop it back and then go off to the wide, try to switch the point of attack. Down at left flank, intercepted. Running onto it in the central there was Craddock. The early ball now. This one is a little bit better, and Shore got a cleat on it. HSC able to win that soccer ball and send it upfield. Nice job by Nick Shore, but that ball was perfectly placed for Tolgu, and he nearly was able to get by Nick Shore. Three shots in the match, and that one definitely was on target that time. On the wide side, Alban. Alban now is being marked heavily. He retrieves it, and that ball goes out of play. It'll be a throw in for Seattle United in the seventh minute of the first 30. The Surf Cup 2015 in the early going, the second day action. The Sunday. You're watching it on GLP, main purveyor of videos for the Surf Cup now for a number of years. On the near side, kept in nicely by Craddock, but uh, it's intercepted now. And they have to retreat back, but onto it now. And a chance. As he holds it up, there's uh, Furukawa looking for teammate support, and now it's intercepted. In the eighth minute of the match now, HSC still trying to keep the attack going as they have it. Nita and his teammates now still with a soccer ball. Here's Furukawa, and then it's intercepted. United, Craddock sending it forward. But it was intercepted there in the midfield. Nicely done. Holding that ball up and intercepting it was Nita. Down to Nita. Send that ball down the left flank for Furukawa again. And Furukawa can't go any further. Dispossessed that time as they play strong in the right back. Seattle United, the early ball. And intercepted as was double teamed that time. So it's back to Furukawa. He drops it back, but it's intercepted. Tough on that first touch there. And now the Central United. Calvert, his teammates now trying to get it out of their defensive half as they kind of increase that line a little bit. Wyrick. Reese Wyrick sending it out to the wide. Nice, uh, good first touch there. And then he was pressured Valentine, and that ball goes out of play. So it'll be a throw in for the Bulls of Hawaii, Hawaii Soccer Club. And they're going to get three fresh players into the match. Wyatt Kanashiro, 62, 58. Kelio Dutro Raymond is into the match. And number 68. Lucas Fernandez. So Fernandez, he'll play up forward along with Raymond. He's going to play that midfield area. And a quick touch by Kanashiro as they want to get it going in the box and quickly getting to it off that right defensive spot is Seattle U. They had to because that ball was coming into that 18-yard box with some good pace. The high line, early ball, and a save by Homar. Two shots now, 
for HSC. Now the early ball. Looking down at Central, and he drops it wide of frame. Thomas Tolgu, he was pressured that time. He tried to get a good strike on it, but he couldn't get what he wanted on it. Nevertheless, that is the fourth shot of the match. And it must have been an offside uh, call. Oh, so, free kick now for HSC. Here in the 11th minute of the match, the Surf Cup 2015 towards a box now. They got to defend, and they do a good job that time as Calvert getting back to get to the soccer ball. And it is out of play. And it's going to be a throw in. Is trying to defend on the near side. Seattle United. Yoshimoto after the throw in. Dutra Raymond sends it upfield. His teammate was marked heavily that time. And Steinmetz doing a fine job in a space, but it's intercepted by HSCs. They keep it in their defensive half. But nicely done by Craddock to move it forward. And now it's sent all the way back toward that back line of the Bulls. Boys under 15 match. Surf Cup 2015. Nearly a handball that time, but nevertheless, not called by Hennis. Hennis, or Hennis sending it forward, not called on him. Kobashigawa is sending that ball forward, but intercepted. Craddock sends it back to a teammate, but he didn't get it. It was quickly touched that time by uh, Kanashiro, but his pass was intercepted now. Seattle United, and it's going to be a foul. A foul against HSC. And Seattle U. We'll have the free kick. We've got a substitution. We miss any of the numbers that come in. Uh, we will mention them as they touch that soccer ball. Bryson Kim, I believe, was the player that came in. In the 13th minute of the first 30, nearly halfway through. Nice intercept there by Hennis. He sends it forward, and they have to retreat back quickly and send it out of play to far side. Nicely done that time by Kobashigawa. Evan deciding, I've got to get this one out of play and clear it, and he did. Ball sent to the near side, and a quick touch back to his defender, and then back to Nick Shore. Not counted as a shot that time. In the central, but take it away. Nice uh, doing it, and he does a dipsy do there. Steinmetz, nice play on the near side. Steinmetz, and he can't continue on as a good defensive play by uh, Kaleo Dutro Raymond. McCoy Hennis gets it in to play. Quick touch by Kuntz. And then uh, on the near side, here's McCoy Ennis. And he was dispossessed that time. A field, nicely kept in there. She saw by Kanashiro, but his pass was intercepted. Ennis on it. McCoy Ennis finds his teammate now, trying to turn, and he does. And he's looking uh, to the wide side now. They keep the offense going to Allman now. And Allman drops it back now. He finds his teammate. That's Zumaya. He sends it to Header. And it goes wide. Nice play, though. But they were off sides. It wouldn't have mattered if they scored. But a nice play nevertheless. And Steinmetz, a nice header there in the central. And you, those are types of plays in youth sports you work on to try to put it in the back of the net. HSC, the club, the club from Honolulu, got two players in. 
The match now, 42 and 46. Koopa Fernandez is in the match. And Elijah Brown. Brown is 46. 42 was Fernandez. Down the central, Allman. He was trying to weave his way through a maze of players, and they took it away from him. But they regain it back. Nicely done by Craddock. And now down the central is Kuntz, but Kuntz is stiffened up defensively by the Bulls. However, they took it away, but then lost it now and trying to weave his way in that 18-yard box. And he goes down, but no call by the center ref. Valentine on his move. But here's Allman now. Allman tried to send it outside, but that touch wasn't strong enough that time. It was intercepted. And kind of a little lazy touch that time, and they come in and sandwich him, and he nearly got the soccer ball back. Ne nevertheless, the Bulls sending it all the way to the attacking third. And the deep, that back line, get in the soccer ball, putting it in space. And there's Tolgu, Tolgu sending it forward, but nobody was going to be there. And he basically was kind of sandwiched down this left flank here, the near touch line. And really didn't have anything to do with that soccer ball, but just sending it forward. Sometimes that happens in the world of soccer. You can see the great players, you wonder what kind of play they're trying to make. And they don't make it. Furukawa is into the match. Missed the other number, but we will mention him as they touch that soccer ball. Calvert. Wyrick. Reese wants to change direction. Objective to go down to central. And now they set themselves up nicely. McCoy Hennis. Good touches here. Good first touch. Going out wide. But putting pressure now, and that's what you want to do if you're uh, HSC. Quince, Seattle United, knowing this is a nil-nil match, playing their passing game. And coming over and knocking it out of play nicely there was Elijah Brown. Good hustle. McCoy Hennis will throw it in for the contingent from the Emerald City, Seattle, Washington. Quince, you're going to go out wide now. Far side of your picture, Allman. Sending it forward, but uh, he sent it to a uh, black and white player. So he gets it back to the baby blue. Montiel Zumaya. Hennis. Good passing, good first touch there. Sending it forward. Finding. Steinbatz. And it's over the top of frame. Pretty close that time. Substitutions in the 19th minute of the match. And now coming in is Vincenzo. Gianna Frio. Wyrick. Good first touch by Tolgu. Steinmetz, near side. They're on a Frio. Hennis, intercepted by Brown. Nicely done. Brown, nice nutmeg that time. And Brown now sends it forward down the right flank. But intercepted. Here's Hennis. Good first touch now. Gets the ball over to Craddock. 
Craddock back to the central. His center defender there, Wyrick. Wyrick sending it down the central, but intercepted. Nicely done in the central by Saito. They get it going forward and into the box. Nearly had the opportunity, but nearly is not good enough. And now they got to race back the back line and able to shepherd that ball back to the keeper, Nick Shore. Twenty-first minute, on nine minutes left to go in the first half. HSC and Seattle United still locked up in a clean sheet. Brown now just outside the box. He chips one, try to get a back post try, but a little bit too far. Those are the types of plays you always want to continue to work on in youth sports because they will become very fruitful for you. Nevertheless, another shot. HSC, and they get the substitution in as well. Joe Takata into the match, 56, in black. Down to central. Running onto it is Steinmetz. He sends it into the box, but that was way far ahead of Tolgu. It turns out to be a shot, nevertheless, for Seattle United. They get their fifth of the match. In the central. In the deep back, nicely done by Calvert, sending it forward. Going up high with the header, but now intercepted. And coming back with it. HSC Bulls now on the move is for Akawa. His sitting pass was intercepted that time. Short making another save. Six shots in the match. Seattle United. Clear it out. Hey, Coach Kerry Mikey doing a fine job of keeping fresh players in for HSC. The island contingent. A lot of people play, people say, I should say, that uh, and, and play while they're over there. Feel that it's the uh, most beautiful place in the world. The islands surrounding Hawaii. Down to central and intercepted. Saved there by Shore, the 24th minute of the match. Shore with five saves in the match, seven shots. Seattle United. Finn Hoffman comes into the match. He's number 23 in the baby blue. And number six is Nick Henson in the baby blue. So Henson and Hoffman now into the match. They throw it in from the far side touchline. Does Seattle U. Bulls. In a deep back. Calvert. They walk it up the field. Allman sends it forward, looking for Steinmetz, but intercepted. They still have it. Kuntz. Get it over to Hoffman now. Down to Central. They continue to work their passing game, and it's intercepted. Continue to get good touches in this match. They've had a lot of possession time. On the near side. And the collision, and it's going to turn out to be a free kick as... McCoy Hinnis going down there. 
Might have hurt him. Pretty good little collision. Reese Wyrick will take the free kick. Second free kick of the match. Hennis goes by it, and then he gets it back. Sends it in the box for an attempted header, and they do get one of those. Oh, goal! Go, 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 Seattle United is the first one to score, and they do it in the 26th minute of the match, nearly in the first half. I believe it's number six, Nick Henson puts it in the back of the net. We'll verify that at halftime. But nevertheless, it is 1-0, Seattle United. And all of that started off the free kick. And then Hennis, a beautiful service. He gets the assist as Nick Henson on a back post, able to put it in the back of the net. They haven't had a lot of shots on target, has Seattle United, but they find the back of the net on their eighth shot of the match. Nearly a handball, not called by the center ref. And a little bit too much. So they're gonna have a free kick, Seattle U. And the free kick is going to be the third one of the match. In the Surf Cup 2015, hopefully you're enjoying this action, the boys under 15. I'm Greg G.K. Porter along with Jim Costa on the video camera bringing you the sights and sounds for GLP, George Langevin Productions. Free kick now for Seattle United. Leading 1-0. Reese Wyrick sending it towards the box. It got intercepted and sent out. But they still have the touch now. Beautiful first touch that time by Valentine. And it'll be a foul, and they'll have another free kick. The fourth free kick upcoming of the match here in the 28th minute of the match. Only got about a minute or two left to go. Center ref keeping the official time. Coming in now at 59, Bryson Kim for the Honolulu Bulls. Free kick, Seattle United. In the attacking third, let's see what they do with it. The left footed try is intercepted at the top of the box by the Bulls, but they get it back. On his Wallet, Wyrick doing a fine job of getting him back to his defenders. Now they head it forward now, and they'll race and go get it now on the near side. Denorfi, on a Frio, that is. Vincenzo tried to keep it in and was not able to do so. So it's going to be a goal kick. One nil. The blue and white contingent with the darker blue numbers leading from the Pacific Northwest in this match. Got our cameraman living up there now. <laughs> Down the central, Valentine cuts it back under a lot of pressure and they take it away from him. Near side, Michael Williams. Williams finds the outlet pass, nicely done. Good first touch that time by uh, Kim, but they give it away, and there's numbers there. Staying on it, shielding the defender is Wyrick, and he sends it all the way back to his keeper, and that eats up time. When you're leading 1-0, those are the types of things that work in your advantage. And something that has been working in this match is they've been able to keep the ball away from the Bulls for the most part. Big time on possession percentage. Down the central and a save by Nick Shore. Shore had to come off his line and say, I'm not going to allow this to go any further. Shore gets his sixth save of the match. On the ninth shot. Steinbitz trying to get to that soccer ball, and he just couldn't. And 
going to be a foul, though. Free kick now, the third free kick for the Bulls in the match. They want to do it quickly if they want to try to get something in the back of the net, running out of time. And that's the end, a double whistle of the first half. Seattle United able to get the free kick, the set piece, and capitalize off it for the one nil lead at halftime. Stick with us, we'll be right back for more action of the Surf Cup 2015 between the HSC Bulls and Seattle United. Second half, set to get underway. So shift colors for all you satyrs out there, past and present, we are underway now. That ball is out of play and it is Seattle United going from left to right and right to left. The Honolulu Soccer Club, the Bulls, down one nil on the goal by Nick Henson. Of Seattle United. Seattle United in the deep back. Had the most possession time in the first half. Homar had one save. Shore had a total of five saves for the Bulls. Shots, three shots for HSC. Nine shots for Seattle U. Three fouls for HSC. Two for Seattle U. Corner kicks, there were none. Unless I missed one. Free kicks, total of three for HSC and four corner or uh, free kicks. And the big one by Hennis, the assist to Nick Henson for the goal. Seven to six in that case. Second minute, Greg GK Porter. Along with Jim Costa on your video camera, bringing you the sights and sounds from field number five at the Polo Grounds up here in the city of Del Mar. San Diego Polo Grounds, here where they obviously play the sport of polo. The horses get a lot of good activity and they train them just across the way here, up here in Del Mar. And of course, at this time of year, they have the horse races over there at the racetrack. It's become one of the better racetracks left in the United States for horse racing. Yoshimoto in the 18-yard box, trying to get that next strike. 
And it is driven out in this boys under 15 match. Saito sends it forward. Knocked back, but HSC still has it. And a tough first touch by Takata giving it away. Alderman sending it forward into that left defensive corner there. And it's driven out. Quickly. Homard sending the ball forward. Valentine dropping it back, but there was a foul on the play. It'll be a free kick. Fifth free kick of the match. Out to the wide side, intercepted. Nicely done getting in the space. Well, now one nicely done by Theo Steinbetz and that ball is set wide. He was pressured that time and they nearly fouled him in the box, but it had a free shot at the keeper known as a penalty kick. Steinmetz has somewhat been dangerous in this match in the central. He's headed the ball towards the net. He's been instrumental in the offensive attack. And you know in his mind that he wants to try to put one in the back of the net. However, the defenders of the Bulls have done a fine job of finding a way not to allow him to do it. And now they're trying to score themselves and it's cleared out. It'll be a throw in. Nice run by Bryson Kim. Kim in a box, and he got towards the six-yard box before they finally stiffened up and sent that ball out of the six-yard box and out of the 18 and out of play. The end of the match now is Edwin Montiel Zumaya. The header, and another header nicely done that time in the space by Yoshimoto, Skyler. And Skyler Yoshimoto intercepts it. Hustling there in his sequence. His teammates have possession, and they want to keep possession. The header behind him, and he was looking for his teammate to try to run onto it. Bryce and Kim, but Kim, a little tardy on that attempt. Nicely done behind him. And Jordan Fur Furukawa. Kuba Fernandez. The wide side is they want to continue to, in this second half to have more possession time. The black and white. Free kick, Tim Horn will take it. Only the fourth free kick of the match. Bulls, Horn, good first touch. Fernandez. Yoshimoto, good first touch, and he'll draw a free kick. It'll be the fifth free kick of the match. 
in the 38th minute of the match. Unofficially. Center ref keeping the official time. Takata sends it wide off of a header. Pulls a chip in a box. It goes back wide and it goes out of play. The Bulls in this tournament, they have had a tie and they also lost. They tied the Fullerton Rangers in Santa Clara. They lost 1-0. So they've played very well. They're only down 1-0 in this match. And that's not insurmountable in youth soccer. Although it does get tougher and tougher the older you get. Try to come back from leads. As George Land has been production, it does a lot of different age groups. Nick Shore sending that ball forward to keeper. Checking the national championships, uh, USYS national championships in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and trying to find out what's going on there. They got the finals over there. And the under 16 team for Seattle United was in the national championship match. Mike Gianna Frio checking the score. Fabulous thing to be able to get your team in the national championship soccer program and we've seen over the years how Seattle and surrounding areas have gotten better and better in the world of soccer in fact they won national championships and so has Hawaii over the years the play of both of these two teams here tremendously better representing both of their states than it used to be in the past. It's be highly dominated by California teams, but now starting to see a lot of different other states winning national championships, Utah being one of them. In a box now, trying to get another strike. They still have it. The Bulls trying to continue on. And here is Fernandez. They're keeping the touches going, but it's intercepted now. As Yoshimoto wasn't able to get to it, and now they're going to have to retreat back quickly in the box. On it is Steinmetz, and he's doing a fine job of keeping it away from the All Black. And, and finally, it's touched out by Tim Horn to keep him on the exterior, and it'll be a throw in. They had something going in the attacking third, but they just could not make that real good pass and then end up in the box. And taken away by the light blue and white. And they got a quick transition and nearly got a good attempt in the 18-yard box as three fresh players come in. Bay Nickerson was one of them. I believe Lucas Fernandez is another one. And if we miss any of them, we'll mention them as they touch that soccer ball. And now we got another player onto the field, but it's okay because he got the ball off. The fields here, some 24 fields all right next to each other. And it's not uncommon, the ball will end up in the field of play from another field. Don't have a lot of tournaments like this one in the country where all the action is at one location. I would venture to say though that the better tournaments do have them all at one location and some of the junior tournaments are very different venues that you have to go to 
some spread out quite a bit. I know there's one in uh, the Long Beach area that be coming up, and you have to go to some different venues in order to be a part of that tournament. Takata, send it wide. Nickerson sending that ball out of play, but it was touched out. HSC, the Bulls, top of the 18. Good first touch in the box, and a save is made by Homar. Felix had to come off his line that time. Omar getting his fourth save. Hey, Luke, keep it up, baby. Keep it up. Hey. Good shot on target on that last possession. And trying to continue on in the second half. It could be a tale of two halves in the world of soccer. And especially in youth soccer. Getting a lot of good touches in the second half. A lot more than they did in the first half. Bulls. But in the world of soccer, you can get a lot of touches and not win the match. It's all about trying to put it in the back of the net. And the more and more time that the ball is spent off the pitch, and in this case, the polo grounds in somebody else's pitch, then if you are down in the match, it's working against you. In a deep back. Saito getting it going, and now it's a foot race and a save by Homar. Coming way off his line as far as he could, where he could touch the soccer ball with his hands. Horn and a foul. I know that was, was going to be a free kick. So the free kick upcoming for Honolulu Soccer Club, the Bulls, be the sixth free kick of the match. They're in the 46th minute of the match in the box. And they just tried to get a touch onto it and put it by Homar, but they just couldn't quite do it. Throw in. Good, solid play that time by Lucas Fernandez. As you saw there, he went after that soccer ball. He touched the soccer ball and thus no foul. Down the near side. And it's cutting it off with Saito, but they're still going to move forward. And Saito gets, or actually, he got helped by Richie Nino. And Nino... Able to extrapolate that ball out of the play and send it forward. And now Yoshimoto down the near side. A quick touch in the box as they try to get a strike in and just couldn't do it that time. Marked heavily in the 18 and just couldn't quite get a strike on it. And so now it'll be a throw in just outside of the attacking Third, an 18-yard box for HSC, down 1-0. Yoshimoto, I can tell you this much, I've seen these guys before, and they will not give up. They will continue to play in a match. Talking about the black and white of the Bulls. Seen them when they were younger. Yoshimoto now with it, sends it out wide. Mounier, the chip, and the box trying to get a header, and it's knocked away by Homar. He got up high. Nice play by Felix Homar. If he doesn't get up that high, it might have been put in the back of the net. In the box now, Seattle United finding themselves running and chasing the soccer ball, and they didn't do that in the first half as much. The transition now, 
They want to try to victimize the black and white. It goes by one of the blue and white, but they get, regain the soccer ball in central. Center circle now. On it there is Allman. Calvert. One nil. They lead in this match. As time continues on. In the second part of the second half now. As they keep the touches going. Finn Hoffman on the near side. Hoffman now. His chip was intercepted. And they're getting more touches now. That's Nick Henson now. Wyrick. High line. Inside their own defensive half now as they want to put the high pressure on the black and white from Hawaii. The Honolulu Bulls. And it's going to now be an offsides call and a free kick. Seventh free kick of the match coming up for the Bulls. Coming into the match is Jordan Fortakawa, 52 and 58. Kaleo Dutro Raymond. Dantonita, 43, is into the match. Free kick. Bulls. Down the right flank. Winning the soccer ball and good touches up to Central. Now into the box and it goes by the keeper. Trying to do something there was toll glue and he just wasn't able to get the ball steered towards the back of the net. But nevertheless, good possession and a good transition and they nearly scored on it. And that might have been to the major undoing the Honolulu Bulls. Nevertheless, another shot. Quality. Ten shots. In this match. For the baby blue and white. On to the soccer ball. Valentine. Good first touch. Valentine still dribbling. Valentine weaving his way in traffic. Sends it forward, but... He also draws a foul, and they'll get a free kick. Good work by Valentine. His teammates now have their fifth free kick of the match. Taking it is Wyrick. In the 51st minute of the match, they only play 60. Up in the air, trying to get another, but it's offside on the play, on the wing. So another free kick upcoming for... Bulls, eighth free kick of the match. Nick Shore takes it. The header, trying to go forward and they do. Nicely done there by Finn Hoffman, but they were offsides again. And they'll give up their ninth free kick. Urgency time has kicked in now for the black and white as they only have about eight minutes left in this match unofficially. Fifty second minute of the match. Fernandez sends it forward. Intercepted. He's got support there though by Nino. To the wide side. Couple of players falling down. Center ref says play on. Not unusual to see that at this age. Down the central. Sent out wide. And from the back. And that's not what you want to see. And that's going to draw a card. The yellow card. Comes out, and they'll get a free kick. 
It'll be the the sixth free kick of the match. Elijah Brown is going to come in, number 46 and 44. Kobashigawa. So the free kick for Seattle United as trying to tie this match and get another tie in the Surf Cup 2015, at least, unless they can score two goals and try to win this match. And basically, they would have to score a lot of goals in order to have a chance for getting to out of bracket play and getting towards trying to win this age group. That probably is not going to happen, but they want to try to get at least the result in this one. The first corner kick of the match. Seattle United will take it. And it goes back behind frame. So the first corner kick of the match ending up here in the second half in the 54th minute of the match. Very rare to see being the first corner kick. Usually you see it a lot sooner than that. It's going to be a free kick. Take that back, it's a throw in. Thought it was gonna be a free kick. And now we're gonna have a free kick, so I'm gonna get that anyways. The 10th free kick of the match. Bulls, 59. Rice and Kim into the match. Not a lot of time. They need those possessions that they were having a while ago in order to get the, at least a tie out of this. Brown, weaving his way, sending it forward, and it goes out of play. Brown, pretty adept at foot, and that's one of the reasons why he's in there late in the match here. They're going to get a free kick. The 11th free kick, and this is the, the type of set pieces you can put it in the back of the net. The 26th minute of the second half, the 56th minute of the match. What will the Bulls do with it? The header up in the air. Will they control it? And it is going to be a corner kick. It was already past the byline. So now they'll get their first corner kick of the match. Very important at this time, the 56th minute of the match. The set piece, their second in a row off of a line drive intercepted by Seattle United. Want to try to keep possession and they won't as Seattle United will steam their way all the way up with Steinmetz into the defensive half. Intercepted. They get going forward on the wide. Brown trying to keep it in and he can't. As Ryan Calvert getting to it first and just dumping it out of play. The 57th minute of the match. Unofficial time. Center ref has the official time now. Winning it at Seattle United with just minutes left. And when you have possession, you want to keep it. Saw yesterday at the national championships that teams knowing what to do when they get to this point of the match and they're leading, putting it in the corner and keeping it away from the other team. Nice save by Shore. And a player is down now. And it's going to go out of play. Maybe a little bit of extra time. We'll find out.
And right now, it's more important. I believe that's Joe Takata is down. Yes, it is. And Joe is not feeling good right now. Take a break. It is 1 0. Seattle United. Well, it's good to see Joe Takata walking this one off, but uh, he's walking very, very gingerly. Surely his team will have another game today. Takata's ability to play in that next game is going to be hampered somewhat. Tim Horn is into the match. Max Mounier. About a couple minutes left to go in a match. Bulls want to try to intercept the ball and get it in They're the defensive half of Seattle United. Seattle United want to keep possession, and there's a collision there, and it was not initially called a foul. But as it turns out, there's going to be a uh, possession back to Seattle United. Wyrick and company don't have to do anything. Just keep possession of the soccer ball. The same thing they did in the first half and did it very, very well. And it's up to the Bulls who have to pressure them and get the soccer ball away. Can they do it and get another quality shot? They don't have a lot of time. Intercepted by the Bulls. Sending it forward, now they have that possession. But they have to be careful. They have to keep it. They have to make good plays here. That one by Brown, and he could not run it down. And it's going to be a corner kick, though. So they do get what they want. You always want to set peace when the time is about ready to run out. Furukawa will take it. Jordan, the most important set piece of the match. For the Bulls, only the second corner kick. Up in the air, it's intercepted. It goes out of play, and that is the end of the match. Seattle United on the goal in the first half by Nick Henson off of a free kick. A beautiful one at that, going towards the back post, and Henson able to find it and put it inside the back post for the goal. And so, Seattle United able to ride that here in the second half, although they didn't have the possession time. But they win it, 1-0. We hope you enjoyed all of the action here. Field number five, the Surf Cup 2015. I'm Greg G.K. Porter, along with Jim Costa, your cameraman, saying stick around. There's gonna be some interviews, closing comments, upcoming 2015 Surf Cup. Greg G.K. Porter back here after the uh, tight game, and uh, I'm here with the Bulls. And you are? Uh, Max Meunier. Max, talk a little bit about um, this tournament. Uh, this was the last game, I guess, and uh, talk a little bit about the tournament. Um, it was a fun tournament. 
I think we got unlucky with a few calls and a few games. Mm -hmm. All of them were really close, but right. maybe next year. Talk about other things outside of uh, soccer for you, um, you know, school and other, other endeavors that you like. Um, well, we all live in Hawaii, so being in the water is a big part of it, mm -hmm. surfing and stuff. Okay. That's what I like to do, and playing soccer, of course. All right, all right let me talk to your teammate, and you are? Skylar Yoshimoto. Skylar, talk a little bit about this tournament. Uh, it was a good experience, and I think we played pretty well for most of it, and we could have done a little better. Things that are important to you outside of uh, this game of soccer? Uh, like he said, uh, the water and surfing. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, let me talk to your teammate on the outside here, and you are? Kaleo Dutcherian. Kaleo, um, talk a little bit about uh, this tournament for you and your teammates. Uh, it was a good experience, and I thought that we could have done better, but we did pretty good. And there's a little, like, a little bit of bad calls, but it's soccer. Okay. Talk about things that are important to you outside of the world of soccer. School and my family. All right, all right. Lastly, each one of you guys are going to say your favorite soccer player, maybe your favorite team. Favorite soccer player? Messi. All right. Uh, PK. Okay. Pele. All right. All right, guys. Well, uh, thanks for coming out and uh, have a safe trip going back home. And uh, good luck uh, towards uh, winning the State Cup and getting here next year. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Back here with the Honolulu Bulls after this uh, tough match. And uh, I got uh, three more of the players. And uh, you are? Uh, Richie Nino. Richie, talk about uh, this experience uh, coming again over here and playing in the Surf Cup. Uh, it was a good experience with this team. It's my first time with this team. Okay. Uh, it was good. It was good. Okay. Outside of soccer, what's 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 important to you? Uh, school. Okay. School is very important to me. All right. You you don't play any other sports or anything, or do anything surf or whatever you know over uh, there. I go to the beach a lot, okay. and I do track for school. Okay. All right. All right. Let me talk to your teammate in the middle here, and you are. Uh, Lucas Fernandez. Lucas, talk about uh, being over here again in San Diego and playing in the Surf Cup. Uh, it was a good experience for all of us because, I mean, it really bonded us a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And we get to learn from our mistakes, like how we just did today. Mm -hmm. And next time, hopefully tomorrow, or not tomorrow, but next year, <laughs> we'll be able to come back and win this. Okay, all right. Talk about things outside of uh, the world of soccer for you. Um, school and soccer, really. Okay. Some surfing, but okay. pretty devoted to the sport. And uh, you are on the outside? Uh, Danton Ito. Uh, Danton, uh, talk about, you know, just being in the Surf Cup again for uh, 2015. It was a good experience, and we learned a lot, mm -hmm. but it wasn't the result we wanted. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, talk about things that are important uh, to you outside of uh, the world of soccer. Uh, school and basketball and soccer. Right. So what, what, do you play a guard position, or what position do you play at uh, basketball? Guard. Well, guys, uh, lastly, your favorite soccer player. I did this with the other guys. Uh, hmm. Or team. Real Madrid. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But it's Pirlo with those free kicks. <laughs> okay. Uh, I like Ronaldinho. Okay. All right. All right, guys. We'll uh, have a safe trip back, and uh, thanks for coming out, guys. Thank you. All righty. Greg G.K. Porter back here with some more of the Bulls, and you are? Micah Williams. Okay, Micah, talk about uh, just this experience in this time around at the Surf Cup. Uh, well, it's, it's really hard because you, when you come from Hawaii, there's not a lot of competition. Mm -hmm. So coming to this tournament, you have to come out strong, mm -hmm. and it's, that's, it's really difficult. And I don't think we did that very well, <laughs> and that's, that's part of the reason I don't think we did very well. Well, uh, you know, getting a 1-1 tie against a great club like the Rangers isn't too bad, so it isn't too shabby. They, they get teams in the uh, national championships. Talk about things outside of soccer for you. Uh, ooh, that's not, that's not a lot. <laughs> you know. All right. Practice. Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah, maybe a little surfing, a little water thing? Not. <laughs> not too much. <laughs> no, right? not too much. Yeah, you got to stay with the sport. Okay, let me talk to your uh, teammate, and you are? Uh, Bay Nickerson. Okay. Talk about, Bay, um, you know, this experience here. You know, always good weather over here. Uh, talk a little bit about it. Uh, it's hot. <laughs> it's nothing like Hawaii. Right. <laughs> um, experience is pretty good. We played 
top teams in the nation and I think we did pretty well but we just didn't have enough to pull it off. I believe you guys were from what I heard you guys were in that Albion tournament and it rained kind of like Hawaii huh? Yeah we got our all our games got canceled we had to go straight PK shootout in the semis and we lost. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't expect that out being out here in San Diego right? Nope. <laughs> We didn't either. All right, well, let me talk to your teammate in your Elijah Brown. Elijah, talk about this experience being out here. Uh, it was pretty cool playing on, like, the nice fields and everything and seeing, like, other teams from the mainland. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. You guys, I'm sure, will be stronger uh, the next time around. Uh, talk about things outside of soccer for you. Uh, school. I just go to school. Yeah. Uh. Get to college, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, your favorite uh, soccer player or team? Uh, Mario Balotelli. Okay. Myself. Uh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ronaldinho. Okay, there kidding, we go. All right, guys. All right, well, uh, uh, good to see you guys again, and uh, have a safe trip back home. Hope to see you next year, all right? Back here with some more of the Honolulu Bulls, and uh, one player, unfortunately, is injured, and uh, we'll talk to him in a moment. And you are? Jordan. And what's your last name? Furukawa. Right, Jordan, talk about playing in this uh, Surf Cup 2015. Well, you know, it was hard for us, but we pushed through. But, um, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> okay. Outside of uh, soccer for you, what did you like to do? I like to watch LeBron James videos. <laughs> <laughs> He's a great player, isn't he? Yeah, some people, some people call me LeBron James. Okay, so you play a little bit of basketball outside of uh, soccer? Yeah, you know, people, they say Asian can't play basketball, you know, but I'm a straight-up baller, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I worked with one of those guys, and he's, yeah, I can tell, he's straight-up, <laughs> and he's an Asian guy, he's really good. You know LeBron James? Uh, no, I don't know LeBron James. <laughs> you know, the cameraman that we had, he's actually done uh, one of his events out here in San Diego. You know LeBron James? Uh, not this guy, <laughs> the, uh, the other cameraman that filmed the game. <laughs> All right, let me talk to your teammate. And you are? Evan. <laughs> Okay. Evan, talk about uh, playing in this tournament. With Sun. All right. Okay. Uh, you look forward to uh, getting back here next year? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Micah wants to make sure that you don't got that hair there. Um, but, uh, yeah. My name is Jordan. <laughs> uh, Jordan, I'm sorry. Micah was the other guy. I'm sorry. Sorry, Jordan. Uh, anyways, um, talk about things outside of the tournament. Like what? <laughs> Uh, well, things that you like, things that you're involved in. I like LeBron James. Okay, you're a LeBron James guy too, huh? Yeah. Okay, what team is he on? Kobe Bryant's team. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Just, no, they'll never be on his A team. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's on the Cavaliers. No, dude. He's on the Knicks. Oh, he's on the Knicks now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think you were right. The Cleveland Cavaliers. But, uh, yeah, he can play some great ball. Um, let me talk to your teammate on the outside. And you are? LeBron James. Okay. <laughs> hey, LeBron, how would you like playing in this soccer game? Uh, I got hurt, so no, I didn't like it. Yeah. Maybe better to stick to basketball? Yes. Uh, hopefully you um, you know recover quickly and then you can get back. Uh, you guys got another tournament soon? I don't think so. Okay. So you just get ready for league play. Yes. All right. And what's your real name? Uh, Justin. Okay. All right. Is that Timberlake or Justin? I think it's Justin Timberlake. Oh, okay. Wait, no. His real name is Justin Jamal Deshawn. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Your favorite soccer player? LeBron James. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My real favorite player is um, Deshaun. Deshaun? <laughs> Deshaun. What team does he play for? Deshaun. Okay. <laughs> and you? Thomas. Okay, and yours? Uh, Blocky. Okay, alright. Wait, wait. My real player is Plop Plop. <laughs> alright, guys. Well, uh, have a real safe trip going home. And uh, thanks for the uh, Michael Jordan <laughs> and the basketball references. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Greg Porter back here with uh, some more of the fun of the Bulls, and you are? Tim. All right, Tim, talk about this tournament. Uh, we got unlucky in the first game because our AR wasn't watching and called a goal on us. Mm. Well, 
You know what? You guys, I thought you guys played a pretty good uh, tournament. I mean, considering the teams that you guys played, I thought you guys played pretty well. Uh, maybe a couple of calls here and there, and uh, we're looking at you guys still playing. Talk about it, things outside of soccer for you. Uh, FIFA. It's fun. I have Yaya Toure. Okay, okay. As long as, as long as it's not the administrator, as long as it's the game, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> those guys got some problems. All right, let me talk to uh, your teammate here. I'm, I'm Wyatt. Okay, Wyatt. Talk about this tournament. Um, it was a good experience for me because I've never traveled before in a big tournament like this, so that was that was really good. All right, all right. Cool. Good, good group of guys, right? Yes, definitely. Outside of soccer, what's important to you? Where is it? Um, His girl. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, not really that much. Okay. All right, let me talk to your teammate and your. Uh, Kubah Fernandez. Okay. Kubah, talk about uh, this being in this tournament this time around. Uh, well, we didn't do as well as we did before. Oh. Like we didn't win a game, so it kind of sucked. <laughs> yeah, you want to take a victory back home, don't you? Yeah. All right, talk about things outside of soccer for you. Uh, my girl, Dan Garrigan. Okay. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully she sees this video like your teammate, right? Oh, guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just kidding, I'm just hey, no, hey. <laughs> yeah. Different, different world than it used to be. Anyways. <laughs> All right. So, uh, and you are? I'm Nick. Uh, Nick, talk about uh, you know being a keeper and uh, how your teammates you know try to do the best they could in this in this in this um, match and in the whole tournament. Uh, it's hard being a keeper, and I think everyone did well, and that's good. <laughs> yeah. Outside of soccer, for you, what do you do? Uh, no, I don't. So, uh, outside of soccer, I practice soccer, and uh, I go to school. Your favorite uh, soccer player or team? My favorite soccer player, uh, my favorite team is uh, Queens Park Rangers. Okay. <laughs> uh, my favorite player is Nick Shore. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my favorite player is Luis Suarez. All right. My favorite player is Yaya Toure. Okay. All right. What team does he play for? Manchester City. Oh, man. I'm slipping. I'm slipping. <laughs> I like watch those guys more. Bayern Munich's better, though. Yeah. Because they're all German. Great players. All right, guys. Well, um, hey, have a safe trip back home, and uh, thanks for coming out, guys. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Greg Porter back here with uh, Kobe. And, Kobe, talk about uh, this tournament. Uh, it's been hard. <laughs> um, we don't have teams that are as good as the mainline teams here. Right, right. So we just have to play our hardest right, right. that we can. And, and you guys' uh, soccer club continues to get better and better. I've seen it over the decades. So, you know, it's something that one of these days you guys are going to be in the national championships and things like that. So, you know, you guys are developing it for the younger kids and making it better and better. So talk about things outside of soccer for you. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> uh, school, I guess. Okay. And then, I don't know, I just like to hang out with my yeah, friends. Yeah. Just Speaking of hang out, we got a rapper here. Somebody wants to be on a mic. Yeah. Uh, uh oh. Oh, your teammates want you on the mic. We're going to give you the mic. Okay. First of all, I'm not a rapper. Oh. Are we my way? Are we my way? Are we my way? Are we my way? Yeah. All right. All right. This is a hot fire. I like to keep it native. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, then let's let's right. go right. down. Talk about King <gasps> LeBron James is my favorite person. LeBron James eats my food. <laughs> LeBron James feed me my food. LeBron James sleeps with me in my bed. I love LeBron James. LeBron James is my favorite person. LeBron James. 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 LeBron. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron. On three. On three. On three. Do the hot little bull thing on three, real quick, real quick. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Redo, redo. One, two, three.
Balls! 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 You had uh, Seattle U had a total of four uh, saves by uh, Homar, the keeper. Shore had a total of six saves. Shots in the match, there were 10 by Seattle United and four by the Bulls. Three fouls for the Bulls, two for Seattle United, one corner kick for Seattle United, two for the Bulls. And of course, they had that last one at the very last minute of the match trying to do something to tie it up. Uh, on the free kick side, you had a total of 10 for the Bulls and 7 for Seattle United. And so those are the stats of the match. The final score, Seattle United on the goal by Henson, 1-0 in the Surf Cup 2015. We hope you enjoyed all of this match. I'm Greg G.K. Porter for Jim Costa on the camera saying take care of yourself as always. God bless and Remember to save this one on your hard drive. Bye now.